Hey YouTube faithful, Heavenly Prepper here. Today we're going to do a quick uh, thought experiment. And that experiment is going to be this. Who is going to do more time in jail? Jeff Olson, a 40 year old man being prosecuted for scrawling anti-mega bank messages on sidewalks in water soluble chalk, kids chalk, who now faces potentially up to 13 years in jail and $13,000 $13, fine for uh, writing messages on chalk on the sidewalk in front of banks, or Jeff Corzine from Zero Hedge here, who uh, of course robbed, straight out fraud, straight out fraud, robbed customers of up to one billion dollars of customer accounts while he traded uh, for the company in customer funds and uh, is finally years later uh, being charged by the CFTC so the question is who is going to do more time in jail uh, Jeff Corzine the ex-governor uh, uh, <laughs> of uh, New Jersey or of course the man who faces 13 years in prison for sidewalk chalking, which is uh, being described as vandalism. And I, I just figured I'd do this quick video because yeah, we're all we're all concerned about silver. It's in the doldrums. It's uh, down below $19 an ounce. And guys, if you saw my previous video, uh, especially if you're a new stacker, that means that you should be stacking hard right now. You should be stacking uh, with a vengeance right now. And even if you've been accumulating for a while, you should be stacking pretty hard right now because, uh, guys, it's not going to go much lower than this. I mean, yeah, it could go to 17, 16, but, you know, does it matter if you buy at 17 or 16 or 18 uh, when it's going to go up to 30 or 40 or 50 later on? Okay, it doesn't matter. You just need to be buying now, especially if you're a, a new beginner stacker here. But, again, who's going to do more time in jail? This guy who bank and just... You can see the highlighted portion here. Bank of America said it cost them $6,000 to clean up chalk writing. Yeah, I wish they would have hired me. I would have done it for half that cost. They could have billed me. I would have paid uh, $3,000. I would have done that for them. Clean up some sidewalk chalk. That's a pretty easy job there. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Or John Corzine stole a billion dollars of client funds. So that's the question, guys, today. We'll keep it simple for you. Who's going to do more time? A high politically co connected uh, John Corzine, as you can see there with the president. Uh, do you think he'll do one day behind bars? I don't. Or this guy who's accused of vandalism for using children's chalk on a sidewalk in front of a bank. And the lesson here, guys, obviously, is don't upset the big banks because uh, they're the ones who own you. All right, quick video, Heavenly Prepper, preaching and prepping.